There we go. Now, in the last video, I promised that it wouldn't be longer than Artiella. But I ended up doing some side quests, and it was the longest video yet. Ugh. The nice thing is... Most of the side quests... A good chunk of them... Are behind us. Now... Polina's part is nice and straightforward. Not so much juggling around trying to figure out what to do. So let's take a look at our stats. We're level 7. And nobody knows about us. Highest stat is Arts, surprisingly. And we have a 4-star Landrolite ranking. Well, we have the same stats as Apuna. And we didn't have to work for it at all. <laughs> so this is Criola. I would love to help, but I don't have any power left to fight. Long ago, I used it all to solve a problem that had occurred on this planet. But don't you worry, I have enough power to keep the more powerful rogues away from this area. No, thank you. Now, we don't have any items as well. Other than the key items. So here we are. In this little wasteland here. We were told to take... Crayola's uh, pod to the to the right, but I just want to go over here. Looks like there's some items we can we can take. It'll help us out. Does Polina know any healing spells? Does Polina know high? At least she does, and she has all these other moves. So it looks like she has some status effects, status effect moves, and slice through your enemy with an onslaught of slices. This is more attention I gave to either Apuno or Kupuna for their, <laughs> for their moves, for their force powers. Well, I'll check, I'll check them all one day. It's just... Right now, just using the bonbon is more than enough. Oh, I'm glad to be able to... I'm glad we're not fighting super hard, super hard enemies. Hello? Eh? Stop! Who are you? Huh? Your own P data. You're a ranger. Take care. There's a problem in this area that's currently under investigation. Don't get too close. And Criolo said we we have a bit we we have a bit of a disguise. <laughs> I'm stumbling in my words here, but we have a disguise whenever we go to the domes. I wonder what that looks like. How can Polina hide herself? Hide her floating bonbons to show that she is not a Tizian. I wanna say well, the thing is before this entire event I'm sure most Landrolites didn't know what a Tizian looked like. And then Opuna became a major, a galaxy-wide star, and now everyone knows what a Tizian looks like. Which puts, which puts our disguise in jeopardy. Now, in terms of gameplay, I want to say... Polina is... More of a mix between Kopuna and Opuna. If Kopuna is more of a full spellcaster, and Opuna is more of a melee offensive person, I want to say Polina is just can be either or. The thing is. Polina has two bonbons, and if we remember Dedina, who was, you know, the number one Cosmoguard, he had three bonbons. So I wonder if 
the number of bonbons. Well, bonbon size, we know, indicates your strength. But then, what if... Does this mean the bonbon can get to, like, a ridiculous size if you're... If you're super strong? Or does it form, like, a... Like, another bonbon? And it just goes to show that the Dina's bonbons have reached max size and then formed another bonbon just so it doesn't get too ridiculous. I kind of want to see more... more varieties of Tizian. Just to see how interesting it can get. This is cool. We're getting... We're getting some offensive stuff. Oh, no, we're getting things for our attack. I th would be a better way of putting it. Oh, gee. I lost more health than I thought. I'm sure there's someone, at least one person, wondering why I don't hold the bomb bomb back to to all the way all the way to zero I just don't really see a, a point for it it feels like holding it down just for a little bit not for the entire bit is more than enough to finish the battles you must be Polina I've heard about you from Lady Criola from this flight pad you can go to the sacred wilderness from there you can walk to Paradiso here please board when you are ready That's interesting. Cavell Window 1, Artist P. Cavell, period 1982. 1982. That's interesting though, so from the Holy Wilds, you can just walk to Paradiso. Of course, you probably won't get entrance to it if you're not, if you don't have the appropriate rank, but it just seems, it just seems interesting. There's an entire series based on Paradiso. It's been hyped up for your entire life that it's paradise and that this is what you're working towards. This is the final goal. And yet, it's so easily accessible. Uh, let's see my stats. Doing good. Doing good. Honestly, we should try and get Polina up to speed up to Kapuna and Apuna's levels. That shouldn't be too hard. I just feel so much more relaxed now because I don't have to think about all these side jobs for 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 a brief moment in time. I'll have to remember it later on, but now I'm just going to enjoy going from A to B. Oh, I'm not ready to depart. I have to read what it says. Your data has been confirmed. This private pod is for round-trip travel to authorized locations only. Are you ready to, to depart? Please board the pod. That's, that's interesting, too, how people can have their own private pod. Lady Criola, obviously, is someone important. See her talking to Goldie. Has her own private pod living in... Isolation. Oh, there it is. There's Polina's disguise. Okay, so that's how she's hiding her bonbon. By making it look like funny clothes. Hmm. Someone coming in a private pod at a time like this? Who would have imagined? Please show me your OMP. Alright, Polina. You're confirmed. <laughs> Normal people aren't usually allowed on private pods. It's a very special thing. The owners and the flight routes are kept secret. How many other people have these private pods? How can o how can I get one? How can Opuna get one? I love the view of the sacred wilderness from here the best. I came here for sightseeing, but as soon as I arrived, they shut down the pod station.
Oh, the music sounds really nice, too. Hello, Serge. Miss Polina, according to your OMP, after completing your training, you went on to complete your quotas at Lifeborn and Artiella. And then, oh my, you went on to achieve your four-star license at Intelligence C. You've earned the right to live at Paradiso. Impressive. Young people nowadays are incredible. Why, the Tizian brothers were the same. Normally, I would say that the dome is a little too far away. But with your credentials, I'm sure you'll be fine. And I think that gate prevents those without credentials to get to Paradiso. And maybe that's why it's so secretive. There was an air wash. What is air wash? Portable shower to remove an ally's fatigue. Used on an enemy, and we don't know. Use it to replenish 100 HP. Haven't really needed to use items too much, which is which is cool. You will see the Tower of Meditation up ahead. It is a great view that I would definitely recommend. Well, let's take a look at the Tower of Meditation. There was a pocket taxi. Awesome. I'm gonna need more of that. Pick up all these things. Nitro shell. Oh, we kept winning all those in the road to Artehella. Artehella. Thirsty Razor. I'm just wondering if any of these things are gonna be a bomb on upgrade that I just don't know about. Wildlands North. Okay, so that'll take me to Paradiso. What is um, to the left? I'm just doing this out of my own, own self-interest. I need to know. I need to know what's over here. Holy Wilds West. And pick up some items. Angel Dice. Oh, Polina, you look so... You're in disguise. Hello, the tower over there is where Aizel and Shagla stayed when deciding who the representative of this planet would be. But only Aizel returned from the tower and his brother Shagla disappeared. Some say Shagla was driven mad by the Dark Forces. By the Dark Force, and others say he's become a devil. No one knows what really happened. So the Tower of Meditation is here. Paradiso is not that far away. Isn't the Tower of Meditation a place where where the representatives or people who want to be representative of the sages go to to try and fight off the strong dark forces because it is so close to you know the side of the planet where you know it's entirely covered by dark force right so why would a place of paradise be so close to a sacred yet dangerous area of the world That, that doesn't make sense. It does look nice, though. See birds flying in the distance. Oh, great. 16 Masha. Uh, pocket Taxi is still pretty cheap. <laughs> Any TV here outside? Maybe inside, once we get inside Paradiso. Hello. Welcome to Paradiso. What? You don't think I'm the one that should be welcoming people to Paradise? Uh, you're a ranger? Hmm. Skypod arrivals and departures have been stopped because of an unexplained energy explosion. And here you come trouncing in on your private pod, trying to get into Paradiso? Who do you think you are? Well, we're in Paradiso. We struck a chord there. The ranger did not like it. Well, it's good to see that Polina's okay. And Lady Criola has been keeping Polina up to date. Polina knows how to deal with landroll culture. So it's not too much of a culture shock after waking up. Paradiso Dome Entrance. We're finally here. The place everyone wants to go to. Whoa. We let people live freely here. You can do whatever you want as long as you don't cause problems for anyone else. Already sounds sounds quite amazing. It's not even like a dome. 
it's it's just a little yeah it's not even a dome it's just a little little area that you go in go through the pod station it's i feel like this place is the least safe out of all the domes tokyo's high up Artiella is it's it's a really big area it's like a big hole it's suspended intelligent c is you know the sea and everyone lives on the little islands and then lifeborn what is lifeborn well lifeborn is also like a dome well where well it is a dome i'm talking about everyone lives on the top and then you have to go down to the bottom to get, to find your way out we hear that if we use these bed-shaped virtual machines, dreamlike worlds are waiting. But personally, I have things I want to finish up here in this world. Nothing big, really. Just some hobby stuff. Oh, wow. Asian writing. Hey, secret code. That's what I was looking for. Midwife Trio. The code has been transferred to your OMP. Ah, kind of an oriental vibe here. So they said these beds. Can I check them out? Paradiso has the best beds. How's the TV? Okay. Well, we've seen we've seen most of the shows. I think the only shows left are uh, the only shows left are Peace Man and uh sage's white cat this is the best view i can't believe i get to see selena selena the former miss landrel close up this is great this is it's paradise it was worth doing all those quotas yes it was okay this is not a good view hello oh i haven't seen you before did you just arrive you seem like such a smart lovely young girl much different from the Tizian brothers that arrived the other day. What's wrong with the Tizian brothers? And we... It looks like we're more like an old lady than a young... young girl. If you have a breakfast ticket, simply get on the walkway. You'll receive your food according to the type of breakfast ticket you have. I spent years saying that, day in and day out. And now even here in Paradiso, with my quota fulfilled, I find myself standing here saying it out of habit. Tokyo, I wonder how the gang is doing. The food tastes a little different here. Right. But women are the only ones that can tell the difference. Are you looking for someone? A couple of boys from Tizia were brought to Paradiso recently. I don't see how drab and uninteresting boys could have cleared their quotas. They're just saying such mean things to them. What happened? People who come here just fall in love with the virtual machine. But I love books. If you ask me, they're both the same. They both take you to worlds you've never seen before. I'm not much of a book reader. What do you think? This would make a great painting, don't you think? The sea and the old man. I generally spend the whole day looking at the ocean like this. Wow, that's nice. Spending the whole day just doing that. That old lady over there in the corner is the reputable detective, Miss Maple. I would like to learn from her. Miss Maple. Hello. There are no real big incidents in this dome, so we can live in peace. But I have the feeling that something terrible is going to happen soon. Her detective ingenuity. So, I don't think we can leave. Yeah. Hello. We're very sorry. All Skypod arrivals and departures have been delayed indefinitely due to unexpected maintenance. Well, let's just check things out. Oh, whoa. An art. Art piece. Messenger of the Heavens. S. and Maltar. Year 1979. Polina's art. I don't think we... Polina really needs... It's Opuna. It's Opuna, the main person that should be concerned about art score. It's surprisingly difficult to match my walks with the morning tides. 
All right, I think I'll head back to my cottage in just a while. I will conquer the seven seas by virtual machine. It's, we're getting closer and closer to that kind of reality. And I just want to say, I think that art is just in the way of enjoying the beautiful, beautiful tides and everything. Secret code. Bungalow. Dark Patisserie. I, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Patisseri. The code has been transferred to your OMP. Hi, are you surprised to see a child like me in Paradiso? I'm Wit. I hold the record for completing my life's quotas in the shortest time. Three days and 18 hours. Nobody can beat my time. Good for you, Wit. I don't know what you did, what your, what your purpose in this society was, but that's impressive. And the child, no less. Oh, look, someone's in the Mimi. Oh, this guy, re oh, hang on. It's a producer person, someone involved in show business, dreaming about Mimi. Hmm. And who are you? Oh, Michael. I love you too. Who is Michael? Pair couple. Oh, I'm getting more and more curious. Hang on. Where's here's the secret codes. So with these secret codes. I should have shown this way earlier in the game, but looking at these secret codes, it looks like we can... We can get certain things. It looks like I can't get that one. Backward rear. I can get wild grass. Meat seed. Smile seed. Baby world elephant. Whoa, blue tacos. It's not even worth it, to be honest. Five of those for an ice coat? Ice coat is so cheap. Oh, stacker number one. That's good to know. Wild grass. Parasite. Electric bulb. Oh, that's nice. Didn't even have to. Oh, frozen coat. Looks like that's the, that's the upgrade for ice coat. Heart cookie, white chocolate. Shogi Unicorn, Nature Coat, Solar Coat, oh my goodness, a Solar Coat, that has to be, that has to be the Fire Coat's upgrade. Okay, mm -hmm. check those bungalows out, let's check this bungalow. So we know Opuna and Kopuna have been here for a little while, for a little while. Pair couple. Oh, it's Mendel and Musultus. Have you just arrived? We don't see new girls very often. I'm Mendel. I'm famous for making musical instruments. You remind me of the Tizian brothers that came the other day. I'm friends with them. They live on the upper level in the forest area. They are amazing to have come to Paradiso so young. I'm a composer, Musultus. I came here a while ago from Artiella. Oh hey, look at that. Another secret code. Warm hot spring. So we know they are here and they live at the top floor. Or they live up here. Does... I wonder how... Hmm. Is there room for expansion? For more people in paradise? So far, so far this place looks nice. Yeah, a scream of happiness. Do not disturb. Midwife trio. I didn't, I don't recall what that gives us. Now there's, I see a secret code in the distance. 
I like that I can see them really obviously. Slightly good story. That's an... Uh, yeah, compared to Polina, yeah, that's a big TV. Oh, nobody's here. So there's the bed. This is the sink. No, that's not the washroom. This one, this one doesn't have a washroom. What? Some bungalows are worse than others. They should all be equal. You might not believe me, but I used to be a space investigator when I was young. I traveled through the galaxy. I've even been to the planet of Tizia. I will never forget my romance with the Cosmo Guards. <laughs> I really like this guy's shirt. Don't place too much on the things my wife tells you. Most of it is stuff she saw in the virtual machines. I suspect I know why she has that dream though. There are some Tizians who recently came and are staying in the cottage along the narrow road. So your wife is easily influenced. Warm hot spring, okay. So we know they're they're here in the narrow road. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it for seeing the rest of Paradiso, seeing everyone else. But we see Kapuna in the distance there. Hey all, yard sale. Early bird gets the worm, all the quickest bitter. You might find something really nice. Let me know if you're interested. How about it, young lady? Over here. So everyone can tell that Polina is a young lady. P Polina? It's so good to see you. You look happy. I don't need the item, so I'm giving them away. Master Eisel says not to worry anymore because we safely accomplished our duty. You came to Paradiso because you finished your quotas, right? Then we should have enough Masha. Dad and Mom will be healed soon and maybe they'll come get us. Great timing. By the way, Opuna has been sleeping since we got here. Just a thought. We've done all the quotas needed for us to be citizens here. We can live in perpetual happiness in paradise. And yet Kopuna wants to go home. Is Tizia that great? Compared to Landroll? Say something to him, Polina. Of course they want to reunite their family, but... Why don't we just use our connections and get them to stay in paradise? And we just set up a Cosmo Guard station here. Great timing. By the way, Opuna has been sleeping since we got here. Say something to him, Polina. Oh, look at that. Sneaky. Sneaky secret code. In this little space that we can barely fit in. Polina does look happy. She looks much nicer without the disguise. Opuna is sleeping with a dopey look on his face. Do you want to hit Opuna with your bonbon? Yes. If anyone can wake Opuna up, it's Polina. Hmm. But he didn't wake up. Opuna is sleeping with a dopey look on his face. Do you want to hit Opuna with your bonbon? Let's do it one more time. Oh, that's... that's... that's discouraging. Kapuna, anything to say? <laughs> what, a, what a great camera. How did it go? Did he wake up? I wonder if I should give up on these items. Seems like nobody wants them. I guess what's junk to one person is junk to others. It's nice that it's peaceful here. Why don't you come in and have some tea? You know, I'm just guessing here. But are you upset about something? Polina, why don't you just talk? Will you hit Kapuna with your bonbon? Ouch! You're not supposed to use your bonbon like that. Sis, hold on, sis. You're scaring me, sis. I have no clue what it is you're so upset over. Hey, stop! Polina, just talk. I know you're capable of speaking complete sentences unlike Opuna. Wake up, Opuna. Polina is so upset. Opuna! Puna is sleeping. 
sleeping peacefully. Why are you so upset, sister? You don't like our life of calm and luxury? But we finished all of our assignments. We deserve this. <laughs> you know, right? You're here too, right? We can take it easy here. It's Paradiso. All we have to do is wait for mom and dad to come pick us up. Do you want to hit Kapuna with your bonbon? Knock him out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't do that anymore. Please. We can talk about it. Down with violence. Explain why you're upset. Why you're so upset. Make it simple so that even we'll understand. Paulina told Opuna and Kapuna about the past. However, something appeared wrong with them, and they did not seem to understand. I thought Opuna was sleeping. Did Opuna wake up? So dragging the two of them behind her, Polina returned to the private pod and took it back to the cabin where Criola was waiting. So she dragged them back. I wonder how that looked. West Sand Hill at the cabin of Lady Criola. The two of them are in a deep sleep, but don't worry, there's a way for them to return to their previous health. You must be tired, Polina. Have a snack and rest for a while. So it looks like... They weren't really healthy at all. Lady Criola, are you here? Ah, Chaika, what's happening? I came to visit you because Commander Goldie is on a trip to Sanctuary. Hey, are you Apuna's sister, Polina? Yes. Of course you are. I could tell the minute I saw you. I heard that no one else knew where you were. I see that Lady Criola has been hiding you. But then why didn't you tell Apuna and Kupuna? Commander Goldie also knew you were here with Lady Criola, right? She was severely injured when she was found by her Skybot. All excessive wounds are treated at Sanctuary by the Sages. Aizel would have found out about her. I believe Polina has the ability to speak to the spirits of the land. I didn't want Aizel to know that, so I've been taking care of her slowly. You still have doubts about Master Aizel, don't you? To tell you the truth, I still can't believe he is a bad person. I mean, it was Shagla on the communication panel Apuna found from the wreck of the spaceship. And Commander Goldie says that he believes in Master Aizel and Mistress Babushka. Chaika, you of all people know how easy it is to tinker with a communication panel. And also, the energy cocoon that Shine developed a while ago. What do you think that's for? Hmm, well I thought it was for extracting the sacred power from Masha, and using that to help the sick and the others who need help. Chaika, go and meet Shagla, you'll see the truth. I'm the mother of Aizel and Shagla. I believe I know my sons better than anybody else. Polina, there's only one way to rescue your brothers. Shagla must use his sacred force to recall Opuna's and Kopuna's energy. To recall it, so it seems that it was taken away. Shagla is hiding in a faraway place called the Earth Prison. He hid himself in a place surrounded by the dark energy on purpose, so Aizel wouldn't find him. Sages can sense the energy the energy of other sages, but we don't know how much longer Shagla can stand being in the Earth Prison. I believe that now is the time, now that you Tizians are here. Polina, could you go to the Earth Prison and bring back Shagla? Okay. Wait, Polina. Lady Creola, I will go with Polina. The Earth Prison is way past Animos, isn't it? Polina can't go by herself. I will go with Polina and bring Shagla back. Chaika. Besides, I want to see the fairies in the west forest that you told me about. I do understand that it's rude. You are the helper of the sacred energy. But I have to see them with my own eyes. Ha ha ha. It's alright, Chaika. Protect Polina. Let's go, Polina. We shall bring back the real Apuna. First, we have to go through the west forest where the fairies live. And just to let you know, I'm pretty experienced at battle, so don't worry about me. I'll handle myself. Nice, we got, we got a team member, we got Chaika. I'm really sorry to have, to have to involve you in this planet's problems. Perhaps the fairies of the West Forest will appear to you. I hope so. How's our stats? I think we're good. Why walk when we can travel in style? Oh, the hoverboards. So nice, just have them on all the time. Ah, oh, Chaika, nice to see you. You must be Polina. I've heard about you. You may pass. Thank you. Fairy Grove. Look at this. 
on the lilies. How very, how very spiritual. Oh, zero damage. It's really nice that Chaika can just handle herself. See, even, even Chaika doesn't use her full power. Oh, I was about to. Oh, to use Polina's full power. I wonder what kind of weapon Chaika uses. Chris whoosh. Hmm? I hear something. Is it my imagination? Chris whoosh. Polina, what's wrong? Can you see sup someone over there? It's your imagination. I don't see anything. It was the enemy all along. Yellow twig. <gasps> bonbon caught. We have no energy. Oh, look at that bonbon. Sort of muddled looking. Oh gosh, this is nice. You have learned from this battle. We should just have Traika help Polina get to level 20. Sweet flavor. Kuru 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 ru ru ru. <laughs> she whoosh. Polina slowly loses consciousness. Oh my gosh. What? We're back where we started. Hmm. Should we try again? It looks like the path to the left heads into the forest. Oh my gosh. The forests are the forest spirits are playing tricks on us. Hello, I am the Windora. I could see that you were in trouble, so I came to help. Do you understand what the fairies are saying? No, I don't. I thought so. Normal people can't hear the voices of the fairies. In truth, you shouldn't even be able to see them at all. But perhaps your heart has the power to communicate with nature. Well, listen to your heart. I will be your ears. Thank you, Windora. Polina, did something happen? Perhaps there really are fairies in this forest. So, Grandma Criola's story was true. I didn't really believe it. But I just can't believe that Master Eisel is a bad person. Commander Goldie. Well, I like him too. But then there's what happened to Apuna. Maybe she was telling the simple truth. Now I'm kind of depressed. I can't believe this is happening to my world. And there's nothing I can do. No, we can fight back. Are you trying to cheer me up? Thank you. Oh well, that's why we're going to bring Shagla back. Polina, let's do it. Chike is a mind. Interruptions, but that's okay. Oh, the enemy ran away. You won the battle handedly. Six experience? Oh, that's nothing. Oh, that is nothing. Yeah, time after time, people like to come into my room and talk. <laughs> I have to say, oh, I'm recording, sorry. Polina listens carefully to the voice of the wind. Chris Shagla Shagla. Whoosh! He's waiting, he's waiting, he's waiting. Polina listens carefully to the voice of the wind. Bottom of the sea, the bottom of the bottom. Ooh, straight along the path. Whoosh! Polina listens carefully to the voice of the wind. Hey, hey! Whoosh, you cannot enter. Yes, I can. Hmm? You can understand what I'm saying? This is great, this is great! Someone who finally understands their speech has come. Go help those in trouble deeper in. I don't know how I can help them, but now I can, I can be a translator of your people. Choo choo, give give. Pella, can you see? 
or a rara kune then help that person there was a nature coat is there tv here <laughs> i don't think there was there would be we're out we're out of their their sphere of influence the blessings of nature some power some health some hp uses more energy so it makes it faster to hit fairy home this is nice Kekuru, can you hear? Jara Ito Shuari. The darkness will be here soon. I understand the words also, and I know where Shagla is. He's in the Earth Prison, far, far away in the Ocean Bottom Pass. So, far, far away in the ocean. I thought he was in the Meditation Tower. It sounds like we have to go through the ocean first. Go through the bottom of the ocean. Who are you? I left Sanctuary and have come here. The spirits have allowed me to stay. From just a while ago, something terrifying has been happening at Sanctuary. You're one of the children that came here on Tizia, right? You poor thing. Somehow, please forgive Master Eisel. I do not believe that he went off... He went of his own will into the darkness. The fault lies completely with Babushka. She who is the embodiment of the dark Bonbon. No, I must not speak. Just saying that name alone frightens me. With my weak powers, I would soon be overtaken by the darkness also. I have learned from your words. Ah, human words are so tedious. With Shagla and Criola, I can speak directly to their hearts. Okay, so we talk to everyone. Telling me that Master Eisel and Lady Babushka are actually bad people. Polina listened very carefully. Finally, someone who understands her speech. Go straight on the path from here and you will come to Animos Forest. Ask for Kashira. Oh, all the enemies are running away. Or catching my bonbon. Okay, we got the bomb bomb back. I have to keep an eye on her health. Because if I'm knocked out, it's going to be a bad time. So we took a little detour at the fairy forest. They wanted us to help. Talk to everyone. And now we're here. There was a pocket taxi. Yes. I'm glad they're giving us pocket taxis. Even though they're super cheap, it's, it just feels like the game wants us to start using it more and more. That was close. I almost hit the beehive. Why are there so many beehives here? East Sea, Northern Coast. Take that, Nightbird. Sounds sounded like a squeaky toy. And a one second battle. That felt longer than a second. Maybe animation slow down time. Spice gum. I haven't used any of the gums. Stop! You didn't think you were just going to pass by without visiting our village? Our fair town of Animos is there to the left. Now get in there. Okay. Let's check out Animos. Hello. Hey, hey. How did you guys come this far? Didn't the rangers stop you? What? You are rangers? With faces like those? Hmm. I guess there could be cutesy looking rangers. Well, welcome to the free town of Animos. We welcome those who are a bit different from the norm here. Cool. The free town. They say that the Earth Spirit lives in Rock Castle, but right now it's Joey's hideout. Rock Castle? It's past the western coast of the East Sea. 
Ah, friend, I have some good stuff to sell to people with integrity. Hmm, let's see, you guys don't look at all that trustworthy. So this is the only stuff I can sell to you. Just pick whatever you like. Ah, it's still pretty decent. Basic, basic stuff. Thanks, do you need anything else? No. See ya. Welcome to the bazaar. I only have rare products that can't be found anywhere else. I can't tell you the details, but soon I'm scheduled to get in stock a certain much sought after fragment. Ooh, fancy. Oh, hello. Hello, different looking alien. Oh, hey, do you know where I can find a person called Shagala? Huh? Are you not from around here? Haha, <laughs> sorry. Forget what I asked. Cloak mists. Well, for Polina, I think we really need to fight enemies. I don't think avoiding them is smart. All the weapons here are of the best quality. Even without the protection of a dome, we can drive off rogues. You can even find final type weapons and even UFO rings, but only people with integrity gets those. Whoa, final type weapons. Well, if you want, I can lend you the bed in this room. What do you say to 200 Masha per night? Get a person's hopes up like that. <laughs> I'm not paying 200. When I came to, I was near this town, but I remember going through the old forest. People in this dirty little town can't even imagine the wonderful world ahead. Oh, hello. They say there are a few people in town who have been through the old forest, but I don't believe it. None of them really seem to remember anything concrete. It's kind of like talking with Joey. It is just so frustrating. We got through the old forest. How did these people get here if they didn't go through the old forest? And does Lady Criola visit them at all? Do they even know that she's so close by? Hmm? Oh, what? It's rare to see such a tiny traveler. You can ask me anything about this town. Huh? What was that? You want to go through the underwater path? Huh. What's the world coming to? Now they're using little children to try and find out where Shagla is. I have no idea who sent you here, but if that's what you want, then try elsewhere. Seems like they're sheltering Shagla. Sorry, recently a rabbit guy from Usagama has been here asking questions. So until Kashira clears you, I can't provide any information that may betray my guys. Is Shagla your guy? Part of your crew? How do they know Shagla? Anything here? Oh, it was worth taking a look. Animos Condo. I want to go up there, but I want to see all these other people. A sage can open the door at Rock Castle? Isn't my heart pure enough? Well, he's, he, he's, he's sad. Hmm? Who are you? Leave me alone. I don't think you're pure enough. If you can't open it, just keep trying harder. Hello. My son is like that now, but he was once a four-star Landroll Ranger, but he took on another job on the side. Since then, he's been like that. He should only have done the assigned quota. That would have been better for him. What did he do? I want to see that town one more time, but nobody can go through the old forest without help from the spirits. The toilet. Imagine spending all this time trying to get free to live in the free city of Animos, which I don't know how they got here. Get a condo. This is the only toilet. Ugh, that's awful. Kashira is out right now. Oh. Kashira is out right now, of course. The, well, shower bath is here. so so weird it's so weird to think a washroom and like curtains and not like a like a door separating you and someone else from walking in hello hey little miss me i'm the boss of this slum joey my people call me kashira huh are you ladies planning to go through the underwater path yes hmm i feel bad for you having to cross the wild ocean of the wilderness 
wilderness of the wildlands and all, and you are still so young. Okay, here's what I'll do for your little ladies. First, let's become friends. Oh, cool. We've become friends with the head honcho. Joey has been added to a Puna's friends list. What about Polina's? Good, listen carefully. The underwater path is literally underwater. Ocean currents are cold and you have rogues all over. Even a sea master cannot cross the ocean. To cross such a place, you will need a precious item called a dolphin rock. However, dolphin rocks are very precious rocks for us. So we have been hiding them at our secret base in Rock Castle. When my partner at the secret base says we respond, Oh, when my partner at the secret base says we, respond with are free. Then he will let you enter the secret base. My partner has a strange watchdog. I can't guarantee you won't get bitten. Okay, we are free. You told me Kashira was out. Kashira is out right now. Huh? On the second floor? That's strange. I'm supposed to be out meeting somebody. But obviously, Kashira. Joey is here. Oh yeah, we can get a good view of the entire place. Look at that. <laughs> what a beautiful town. Of course, yeah, they're protected with their wood fences. With their wooden fences. They have the ability to have concrete or brick buildings, metal, and wood fences is what they use for the perimeter. How much does it cost to heal? For 40 Masha? Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, that beehive looked like a different color. Let's pick up all the items. We Polina needs it. Stacker number four. How many stackers do I have? Just out of curiosity. Uh... Oh. I guess... Oh, I have stacker number four. That's it. Well... Yeah, that makes sense, because Apuna has all the other items. This is a duck. Afro duck. Why is that called a duck? It looks nothing like a duck. Nothing, nothing at all. Maybe like the yellow parts are a mouth or a beak. I just don't see it. I'm gonna have to take a closer look at that. T, oh boy, how exciting. Rock Plains. A roulette pizza. That sounds fun. So, you feel a mysterious power from the door. It doesn't even budge. So that must be what that guy was complaining about. About not being able to open Rock Castle. Because he, he was not pure of heart and he was complaining about it. Instead of trying to become pure of heart, how do you become pure of heart? Is it just something that once once you're not, you, you can't get it again? Oh, hello. I don't think you should go on. I think that bad grown-ups are teasing you. Just my intuition. Oh, we don't even have the rock drill. No. That's unfortunate. Gar. That's unfortunate. That means we have to come back here with Apuna. Okay, oh. Just use slicing wind. Heal Polina. Thank you, Chaika. Obviously, I couldn't done it by myself. <laughs> Oh, we've made it to the thief hideout. Rock Castle thief hideout. What? What? Little Tizian girl. All the treasure here belongs to me and my big brother, Joey. What? You got a password for my brother, Joey? Well then, you should be able to answer. We? 
Artisians. We are the best. We are Gaga. We are free. Hmm. Come on in. Wow, you're a... You are a Tizian. You beat him easily. I'm amazed. I'll have more watchdogs next time. There was a dull rock. The number of items in your OMP has increased. Polina looked inside the treasure shell. Oh. Well, we might as well take everything. We got a dull rock, not a dolphin rock. Popcorn kernel. I don't really, even in real life, I don't eat popcorn that much. So it wasn't a dolphin rock. It was a doll rock instead. I'm sorry for you. So we have to go all the way back and talk to Kshira. Talk to Kashira Joey. It's good to see that the, the spirits are helping Polina. Because they know helping Polina helps Apuna. Battle egg. <laughs> okay, yeah, pay attention to the duck. To the afro duck. That ki That is not a duck. <laughs> yeah, I am convinced. And I have been convinced for so long, but there's always like a little twinge thinking, oh, am I wrong? There's no way. I'm just saying it here and now. Definitively, it is not a duck. I think everyone should travel on, on the hoverboards, you know? It reminds me of Wally, -E, like everyone moving around in their chairs. There's there's no point. There's no point to walking anymore. It's just too convenient. Oh, I missed it. I should heal up. These guys are doing big damage to me. What weapon are you using, Chaika? I need to know the name of it. I learned Plant Veil. That sounds... That sounds like a supportive ability. Well, back to see Joey. Kashira's room. Hello. What? It wasn't a dolphin rock? It was a doll rock? You defeated the watchdog? Oh, okay. So you really went there. Wow, you have integrity. I am sure your integrity just increased by three. Huh. I'm terribly sorry. I must have made a mistake about the dolphin rock's location. Maybe we left a hint on the computer in Rock Castle. Maybe that was it. But you shouldn't even try. My partner gets upset very easily. You may see another watchdog there. You mean your 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 brother? Your younger brother? Didn't seem upset at all. He seemed more impressed that we that we got through his defenses. His metal watchdog. Whoa, hang on. I wanna see. What's the view? Whoa. What? What is that? What is that? That can't be the Dome to Paradiso. Could that be true? Could that actually be the Dome of Paradiso? So everything I said about Paradiso being the most unsafe spot because it doesn't really look like a dome might just be just the angle we're looking at it. And it's just, it really is a dome. Oh my gosh. Just take, just take, paying attention to the subtle things of this game makes you realize that I'm not paying enough attention. <laughs> yeah, that might be Paradiso. It just does not tip me off that it, that it is that though. Take this battle egg. Plume's doing decent damage. Decent. Oh, wow. Thank you, Fire Spirit. That was a great move.
Rock Castle. Oh my gosh, more watchdogs. Huh? You've come again? You're persistent little girls, aren't you? Okay. Before we continue, I want to see these supporting moves because that this is what Polina's going to have to do while Chaika does the offensive. All enemies. Envelops all enemies in the sweet smelling rain that sends them into a dream state, effective for 10 seconds. Encompasses your enemy in sweet tasting fog that sends them in a deep state. It's deep sleep. Ah, oh, man. Having to constantly mute my mic. So I can get a breath in. I hope this is temporary. Just getting used to talking. Talking this much. If not, maybe it's a medical problem. I hope not. Or maybe it's the 7-Up I drank. I don't drink pop that often. And maybe that's a really good thing if I get all... burpy because of it. Oh man, even though I said I was gonna... Oh wow, yeah, let's... Let's just get them to leave me alone. Zero damage. Great. Send them to a dream state. Darn these metal dogs. You have to do it, Chaika. You have to beat them for me. Oh, you know what? I should just heal Chaika. I thought I was being helpful by doing Milk Shower. But I don't know now, wasting all that... precious force power. I guess... I guess I'm good just by being a... just by being a meat shield. It's so unfortunate, too. Polina is so much more than that. I have value, I just can't prove it, because I can't do any damage. I can't do anything in this fight. I've been hitting this metal dog this entire fight. Ooh, that's scary. Yeah, let's just... Let's just watch Chaika do everything for us. What is that move? That fire breath move? I'm slowly whittling the enemy away. I have to be the one to defeat this metal dog. I just have to be. It has to be me. Okay, I'm... Yeah, it's gonna be me. <laughs> this is my mission, to just beat one metal dog. Holding my power in. Great. That's a big hit. Heal myself up. And heal Chaika up. Even though Chaika should have should take priority. Oh come on. 30 seconds left. This is stressful. I'm gonna lose all my energy. Oh yes! Polina did it. Got the final hit. Homing 5. Oh, that's awesome. What level are we now? Level 10. Three levels? Not bad, not bad. What? What are you doing here again? Did you beat my watchdog rogues again? Huh? You want to check out the computer? Help yourself. At least this guy's being kind of... You know... Other than beating his watchdogs. He's been pretty supportive of what we're doing. Just rummaging through his base. Polina investigated the computer. Well done, was the only thing written. Oh yeah, our integrity increased. That means we could have gone to the, uh, to the store. I want to talk to you. So it said, well done. Well done. Wow, bad luck for you. But don't give up. I'll be watching over you. Thanks. Thanks for watching over us. Whoever you are. You are not duck. And you are not Egg. 
If anything, the battle egg reminds me of an egg container, especially when it when it's defeated and it opens up. You know, the top part opens up and you can put like an egg in there. And then you put it in the microwave or something. Well, at least I can take out Nightbird. Makes a little squeaky sound. I am a bit bummed that we do have to come back as a Puna to be able to mine those rocks. That is a, uh, a minor inconvenience. Bro, oh, did, did it go to 160 Masha? Ah, oh, friend, I have some good stuff to sell you with people with integrity. Mm, let's see. You guys look somewhat trustworthy. I can sell this stuff to you guys. Just pick, pick whatever you like. All right, now we can get even better stuff. Homing chip sounds nice. Pursuit option that allows your bonbon -bon to trail the target until it hits. Yeah, let's go for that. Because that means if we ever team up with um, Puna and Kapuna, Having this homing chip means we can be a bit more careless with Polina. We don't have to wait and aim. We can just do that with, um... We can do that with just Opuna. Because Opuna can hit multiple enemies with his power plus. What? There was nothing in the computer? But that means you beat up another watchdog. You are fantastic. I'm sure your integrity just went up two points, and I'll raise you a notch on my list of friends. Your friendship with Joey has deepened thanks to this conversation. Your friendship level with Joey has increased one point. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Actually, I have the dolphin rock. Oops, please don't be mad at me. I just remembered that. Do you want it? Yes. Ha ha ha. No way. Well, that's a bit, just a bit too childish. Now I'm an adult, so here's what I'll do. I'm catching myself flubbing up some words from time to time. I'll trade you the Dolphin Rock for a World Rock Fragment. But World Rock Fragment is a very rare item. I haven't even seen it before. It's a fragment of the rock that's on the altar at Rock Castle. The one that shines all green and everything. I hear someone might be selling it at the bazaar. But that's probably not true. You better give up. Haha. <laughs> They're selling it at the bazaar? Well, let's, let's take a look. As I... As I go the complete wrong way around. Hello. It's the brother. What? Oh, it's you again. A kid in Rock Castle? There was no kid there. Welcome to the bazaar. I finally got that rare item. My friends crossed fields and mountains, sweating heavily to obtain this impressive item. I wiped off the sweat. I can only let this go for 2,000 Masha. Do you want it? Sure. You do have an eye for a good thing. I see you have your very own OMP. Then I will data change it and transfer the data to your OMP. Polina received a mock rock fragment. An item has been added to your OMP. Haha, <laughs> thank you very much. To me, it's as useless as a dull rock, but I guess some people just need that kind of rock. Ha ha ha. Hoo hoo hoo. Hmm? Hey look, it's the kid from Rock Castle. <laughs> I made it in time. Ladies, will you let me have that rock? I'll give you this world rock fragment in exchange. What? What are you doing, kid? Well, you will exchange that moon rock fragment for this world rock fragment, right? Yeah, that's what we need. Polina exchanged the world rock fragment and the mock rock fragment. Great. That was great. Young ladies, I find it hard to focus here. I better excuse myself. May the blessings of the earth be on you too. What? That little kid. How did he come by that? World Rock is way far inside of Rock Castle. I searched that place for years and I never found one. How did he? Shoot! I would have gathered a lot, ro a lot more Moon Rock. <laughs> moon Rock. Mock Rock fragments if I had known. Yeah. You guys deserved it. You guys scammed me out of 2,000 Masha. What do you guys need Masha for? 
I guess it's the embodiment of energy, the holy energy, I suppose. I guess money is money. Oh my, did you really bring a world rock fragment? Polina took out the world rock fragment. Wow, it's real. You did all this because you believed I have a dolphin rock. Man, you are too good a person. What's going on here? Oh, Kashira. So this is Kashira. Joey, I heard you're teasing a kid. Kashira, listen. These kids believe everything I say. It is so amazing. No, no. I don't mean that. It's not true, Kashira. I heard that there were some people asking questions about you-know-who. So I... Shut up. So you just park yourself in my room and play boss while I'm gone, without finding anything out at all. Please excuse Joey. He's an idiot at times. Why are you searching for a dolphin rock? Polina explained what was going on. Aha! You want to take the underwater path to see Shagla. Well, you're not lying. I can tell. Then who told you where Shagla is? My aid will depend on your answer. I can tell if you're lying. Now tell me the truth. Who told you? Who's Creon? Serret, Joey, Criola. Criola? You're talking about Madame Criola? Well, she should know all about Shagla. What are your names? Polina and Chaika, huh? Hmm, Chaika. Seems I've heard of that name. Oh well, if you're friends with Madame Triola, we are friends. Nice to meet you. Kashira has been added to Apuna's friends list. I just went to see Shagla not too long ago, so I have the dolphin rock. What's the matter? Joey didn't say that he had the dolphin rock, did he? You told me to shut up, so I can't say anything. Oh, shut up. You're so useless. You need the dolphin rock to get to the earth prison. Go ahead. Take it with you. Polina received the dolphin rock. Another item has been recorded in your OMP. Some things have been worrying me as well. Lately, young healthy men have left and come back suddenly drained of energy. Then I hear some people have been looking for Shagla, people other than you. I don't think this is a coincidence. I mean, Shagla is the only one with the same power as Aizel. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I have a good idea who's looking for Shagla. But whatever. You need Shagla's help, don't you? Go ahead and take the underwater path. Follow the ocean bottom pass. Shackle will be waiting at the earth prison. Be careful. Oh, Joey. I've been standing guard while Kashira meets with Shagla. So I'm not Kashira at all. But at least you weren't bored waiting for her, were you? That was good, wasn't it? Your faces are so cute when you're upset. Here, I will return these to you. Polina received 2,000 Masha. By the way, it was impressive how you guys got the world rock fragment. Fantastic. Just be careful you don't get tricked. Yeah, that's... That's a lot coming from you. Your hearts are strong and pure. I think you will be able to help Shagla someday. When you get to the underwater path with Dolphin Rock, keep going straight to the Earth Prison. Be very careful. Take care of Shagla. She just saw Shagla. So it looks like these people are taking care of Shagla. Kashira is up on the second floor, just back after dropping off some personal belongings to Shagla. I would, I would think they would just give Shagla, like, some food, supplies... Oh, hello. I finally got it. I finally heard it. Ha ha ha. Do you know why my final quota is collecting information? It's because these ears hear everything. Like what you talked about with Kashira. And I've accomplished my quota. Thanks to you. Now I'm going to tell my boss about Shagla and you guys. See you. Oh. A spy. His final quota. He's going to give this information, get to Paradiso, and then just enjoy. Enjoy what little time he has left, because his information is going to ruin the entire planet. Oh, sorry about that. I thought you were with that Usagama guy. Shagla used to come to town to treat wounded rangers. I just wanted to help protect him. I was just being cautious. That's fine. I think the Usagama guy is finally gone. Joey told you so many lies. Please forgive him. Joey also didn't want to tell where Shagla was until we knew you were innocent. Yeah, we were innocent too innocent for our own good. Almost got scammed. At least he gave us the money back. Let's talk to everyone else. Come back when you're in town again and I will have more rare items for you. Wow, who was that kid? I would have gathered a lot more mock rock fragments if I had known I could get world rock fragments from him. Mm, I'm sure they're just going to say the same thing. I bet my integrity is at its highest now. 
Ah, friend, I have some good stuff to sell to people with integrity. Hmm, let's see, you guys look somewhat trustworthy. I can sell this stuff to you guys. What? Doesn't seem like much of an upgrade. How's my stats? Oh, yeah, we're, we're topped off. Nice. We welcome all those that the normal people think are kind of strange. Welcome to the free town of Animos. So now that we have the Dolphin Rock, we can finally travel under the sea. Under the sea. I'm not going to sing. <laughs> it's too late to sing. It's only, it's only seven right now, but I just don't, I just don't have that energy. If I do that, if I do that, the video length is going to be cut off. It's going to be lessened each time I exert my energy. It's like stamina. My stamina can only handle recording for so long. And right now, actually, I'm trying to upload the previous parts to YouTube. The thing is, it's taking forever. The reason for it is just like part one, I had to do a bit of editing to part four. Um, I had to take a bit of a break. I had to eat breakfast. And by doing that and just putting two, two different clips together, you know, a one hour one and a five hour one, because that's how long it took me to do Intelligence C and the side quests. Because if I do it now, while it's still fresh in my brain, I won't forget it. Like, to just have it render, you know, to just make it into one file. It took 14 hours. Which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know if there's anybody watching who knows how to lessen that time. Of course, I'm sure lessening the, the quality of it can do it. But, my goodness, that is, that is ridiculous. The ocean surrounds you. You're now covered by a blue light. <laughs> I missed that text. Ah! Now Polina can walk the underground path freely. I have to restart now. <laughs> can you imagine that? Just mess up on one thing. The playthrough is ruined. I'm sure I've missed out on a lot more stuff. I'm defeating the enemy with my five damage. Just take that. <laughs> Gradually defeating the enemy. Whittling away with my absolutely pathetic, pathetic attack damage. You learned Mirror Ball. We are under the sea. Yeah, so the video is uploading now. It is taken all day. I think I'm pretty sure I started uploading it at six, six, uh, not, s yeah, close to 6 a.m. Still not done. So it took probably at least 24 hours to, to edit, to like put it all into one clip, becoming like 40 gigs, which is ridiculous. And then, and then uploading it to YouTube. I guess it's a good thing to note that uh, you can upload really high gig things to YouTube. They'll compress it for sure. But at least it doesn't outright reject me. I wouldn't have to want to like do some wacky conversion. Okay, we have to heal up. Hindenburg. That's the enemy's name. Okay. It looks like we can handle most of the enemies. That was not easy. Anything with Polina is not easy. I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm on the edge of my seat just because Polina cannot... cannot do damage.
but soon Polina will catch up to Apuna and Kupuna. Fingers crossed. How? How did you catch the bonbon? How did you catch it? I didn't throw it to you. I didn't throw it to your hands. I threw it to the side. Private crab. This mechanical creature under the sea. This mechanical rogue. I get the anet anemone one. Eel rice. I don't get... Th it's because it's a crab? Oh, hey, look. It's not really a secret, but hey. Hurnanemi. Hindenburg. Yes, take, take them out. I do damage and it heals it instantly. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Okay. At the angle of one of the enemies when we beat them, it looked like they had really long legs. That's not the case. Angel dice. We have Chaika with us. Everything is going smoothly. This looks like something would be here. Why would you put that there if nothing's there? My gamer instinct was telling me that something was there. These types of enemies, you can sort of see their eyes. Like at the, on the bottom half. Nice, double high. I like that. This looks like, ah, uh, come on. Anybody with a hint of gamer instinct would go there, find the item. <laughs> That's interesting. That enemy healed up, but still had that, you know, battle damaged look to it. Uh, I, I know down is the way for, for progress, but I want to go to this side path. Fight the Hindenburgs. Oh, jeez. Don't, don't white out. Who? What is that enemy? That's a strong tenta jelly. That was a formidable foe. This is like... Well, it's kind of unfair how fast Polina is... is getting all this Masha and money. Remember when we were at Puna, we were getting like... barely any XP at Tokyo. Oh man. It feels like Polina's bonbon has been caught the most in this... In this one, and one hour, in this hour and a half of Opuna, it's been caught more than, than the entirety of the game we've played so far. That is nice. An ice coat. I'm sure we'll see a big difference now. Okay. <laughs> Is it because I'm not throwing it hard enough? Hello, person. Huh? What are you? 
If you come here, then you must be one of us. If you want to rest before you head to the Earth Prison, take the path to my left. You can rest there. Yeah, we might as well. Rest up, heal up. Why not? <laughs> These people, it's because of a rock they're able to just enjoy being under the sea. Hello, young ladies. You finally came. I'm sure Lady Criola will be happy. Oh, this is Captain Terry. Rest as long as you like in this bed here. That has to be Captain Terry. Why are you trying to hide who who he is? There's no way it's it's anyone else. No way. See, isn't this nice, guys? Just point A to point B. Focusing on the main story. Side quests aren't the worst. It's just the constant backtracking and, you know, ch ending the days so that you can progress. Maybe it would have been nice. Maybe the day system isn't really needed if in, in the sequel to Apuna. Just have it continually progress. So if I want to watch all the episodes of A Stray Cat's Dream or A Sage's White Cat, just let me do it. Don't make me sleep. If I want to binge watch TV, let me binge watch TV, especially when we know it's been already recorded, already finished. I'm the type to watch a series when I know it's done. After being stringed along by other series, I would rather just wait until it's done and know that it's good. This is <laughs> this is my response after being burnt. Burnt from from series. I'm sure it's happened to lots of people too. You know, watching a series or a franchise and just realizing like, oh, uh, <gasps> oh no. Yeah, I hope I should have saved there. Ooh, oh, this is bad. Right. Last time I saved was Paradiso. Great. <laughs> Great. We're all the way back here. A day has gone by, ended in failure. Apparently, you were cured here by sages and treated. A treatment fee. Great. Come on, Chaika. How how did this happen? Now we have to go all the way back. Well, it's a good thing it's not really that far. It was just the constant back and forth, back and forth that made it seem a lot longer. Still a bummer. Why is my bonbon getting caught? It's, it never, it's, what is it? Like a recording curse where you're playing a lot worse than you would if you if you weren't recording. I can't believe, I can't believe that I'm experiencing this on the first, like, quote playthrough. This first JRPG I'm attempting to record. I've recorded before, but I've always deleted it afterwards, just being ashamed. And I. And I bet, like, even, even YouTubers I watch, more well-known ones, I think they also re uh, delete their older work just out of, just out of embarrassment. But in a way, it's really cool to see how, how they've progressed. So if you're watching their early videos and you're like, they suck, how did they, how did they <laughs> get so big? Obviously, they got better, and it's and it's really cool to just see see their their transformation, becoming more confident. 
Man, I am bummed out. We have to go through all that again. And we were so close. So close to finishing this little section. Oh, man. That sucks. All because I didn't heal. Well, honestly, if Chaika couldn't handle that herself, what kind of four-star ranger are you? What kind of... Well, I guess her main job is an engineer, right? Should give her a bit of slack. But she she comes off as like a really... She comes off as if she's she's better than us, right? So you should be way more helpful. You should make sure I don't lose or get completely obliterated by common enemies. Uh. Well, Polina needs the levels. She does, that's true, but I would rather it be with, with Apuna and Kapuna, where I know I can handle that. Maybe it took five minutes to get back? Nah, probably more. If if each battle takes like 30 seconds. Shadow. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think you can run away from fights here. I think you're, you're just... You're just always fighting. You can't run away. You can't be a pacifist. Whoa. Took one step, and we're fighting. Oct. That is ridiculous damage. At least the combat. Combat is fast. Now, in hindsight, every time I lose, I always go back quite a lot because I don't save. And the reason I don't save during like one long, one long video is because what if, what if something happens and that video is unusable? What if, you know, m my power suddenly turns off, craps out, and I lose the footage. The way I'm recording it on OBS is I'm recording it with um, to make it an MP4 file. And the reason I'm doing that is because OBS, by doing that, lets me put multiple audio tracks, which means if I ever wanted to separate audio, like desktop gameplay audio and and mic audio, I can do that. I can do that in my editing software. Because you never know, what if someone copyright claims music, gameplay music. I can just take that section out while keeping the microphone recording. That's why I don't record in something like um, FLV. Even though FLV would be the smarter choice if if my computer's unreliable and, you know, shuts down. Because if that happens, FLV, an FLV file will, will still be made. You'll have that footage. You'll have that footage from the moment it recognizes that you stopped recording. But MP4 files, you have to record from beginning to end. If it stops, if the power goes out and you didn't officially end the recording, well, tough luck. Your recording's gone. So if, if OBS figures out a way to have an FLV file with multiple audio tracks so I can separate audio of desktop and microphone, then it'll be perfect. Then it'll be perfect. Then I would use FLV. And then some of you, 
some curious soul might be thinking, okay, how do I... How do I post it on YouTube then? Does YouTube take FLV files? I don't... I don't think it does. But on OBS, you can just do something called Redux. Redux recording, and you just pick, you know, the FLV file or whatever other file you have, and you just convert it. And it's a quick conversion. It's a really quick conversion. So that's really cool. I mean, for my purposes, OBS Studios is fantastic. I'm sure there are other really great programs. And maybe I'll check them out. But for now, this is perfect. I just want to have a full recording of Apuna from start to finish in English. So because there wasn't one, I thought I'd do it. Oh, these guys are strong. So I, these, these guys are what defeated me last time. So I'm actually going to be extra careful. Yeah, these guys are mean. Yeah, I'm not taking chances. I'm going to use all my all my healing even though it was unnecessary. Oh man, I, I felt like I was talking about something important and I forgot it. I immediately forgot. Oh yeah, no one has done like a full Eng English walkthrough of Opuna, or a playthrough of it anyways. Whenever I saw it, it's always just been, you know, like a one hour, one hour video showing, you know, gameplay, giving you an idea of it. But no one's really gone through it from beginning to end. There have been, you know, the speed gaming video that I showed previously. A Japanese person, Japanese player speed running it, any percent run. There's actually been um I wanna say there's 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 a European playthrough of Opuna. I'm not entirely sure of the language. I wanna say it's German. You feel the presence of holy energy. In a cocoon-like prison, there's someone who exudes holy energy. A prison which only has one prisoner. That must be Shagla. These are rocks that I must... that I must break. Shagla has imprisoned himself, but what if one day he decides that he's sick of it all and wants to escape? How will he escape? All right. I thank you for your aid. I am Shagla. I heard about your family from Lady Criola, and I'm sorry I wasn't able to help until now. Izel is my older twin brother. However, now he has become an evil entity trying to take possession of this planet. Ah, I think I've drained all my energy, but I should still have enough to return us to Lady Criola. Um, um, hmm. We still have to come back here, so... <laughs> a third trip. Shagla, using his own force, warped the group to Criola's house. Lady Criola, I have just now returned. I have been waiting for you, Shagla. I am proud of you, fending off the influence of the dark while surrounded by the dark energy of that prison. Still, I am ashamed that it took so much of my energy just to survive there. It had to be done. Izel was unable to endure, and he fell prey to the darkness. Anyway, I'm hoping you have enough power left to be able to help these children. That's right, Lady Criola, where, where are Opuna and Kapuna? I had them taken to the basement in preparation for your return. Well then, I'm relying on you, Shagla. Let's go to the basement. So if you were paying attention, it said, Lady Criola's hut, first floor. Polina, you come as well, this way. 
hinting that she has another floor. I have heard that the basement of Lady Criola's house is a partisan, partisan hideout. So let's go see it. You heard that? This is a rumor? A partisan hideout? What is partisan? What is that term? Secret room. Criola hut. Underground passage. Oh, I can't use my hoverboard. It's too important of an area. Young lady, were you surprised to see someone like me here? The basement in Criola's house is a partisan hideout for those of us who are in opposition to the darkness. Okay, go down the slope deep into the basement. Off I go. Deep into the basement. I guess another thing for recording is I could always record on two files. So I could just save on one as I progress so I don't have to go so far back in the game. And then I can record in the second slot once I'm like done the recording. That might have been smart. As you can see, I am not smart. <laughs> just thinking of it now. We are partisans, a group who stands opposed to the darkness that has been taken over that has taken over Isla and Babushka. We've been waiting many long years for a day when a savior like you would come. Nami over there is the liaison for those partisans who are still in the domes. She doesn't speak any words, but she can communicate with her heart. Nami smiles at you gently. Look at that, this must be Roidman. Oh, Polina, remember me? I'm Roidman, ha ha ha. Shoot, I really didn't know how to face your family, so I've been hiding here. I guess you found me. I'm sure you're going to be surprised, but actually... Oh, never mind, I won't surprise you yet. Ha <laughs> ha, a joke. You really surprised me. Polina, you've really come to look like Mamina. It's been a long time since you've seen your uncle, so I thought you'd be more excited to see me, but... Really, you've got good instincts, so you believed I was still s alive somewhere, huh? Thank you so much, Polina. Going back to what I was talking about talking of before, actually, having Dedina pretend to journey to this star was something your uncle requested. Oh, are you angry now? Oh yeah, angry face. Here, here, just calm down. I'll explain. Oh cool. So they actually put that in, even though most of most people would just not turn the camera. A long time ago, dark bonbons, or what they call the dark energy, fell upon this star. The legend of Landrel says it was a comet, but that's not true. A dark bomb bomb was sent forth from the evil star Jagdeel. The Emperor of Jagdeel seeks to rule over the entire universe. The Emperor of Jagdeel sends dark bomb bombs to peaceful planets. The energy spawns rogues which spread across the planet in a terrifying wave. They try to immerse all the people in dark energy. It is our mission as Tizians to fight against that dark energy. Because you're still small, Dedina probably hasn't explained all the details to you. Anyway, Landrol has been invaded by a dark bonbon and became a dangerous place. Yeah, it must be like that for a long time. Then something strange happened. People possessing holy energy began to be born. Here, they call them sages. Furthermore, a mysterious light that I still don't really comprehend even now ripped through the land on this star, and this star survived. But about 10 years ago, the balance between the holy energy and dark energy that enveloped Landrol broke down. That's why I came from Tizia to investigate. And several years ago, I came to realize that the planet was in a very dire state. But it is very far from Tizia, and I wasn't able to call many Cosmoguards. So I called on your father, the Startizian. However, it seems I acted too late. I had no idea Izel would be taken by the dark power. Whoa, lore dump. Master Shagla is currently using the recovery force on your brothers. Try to be quiet. Master Shagla is trying to force all of his remaining power. But I don't think he can do much more. I want to see this. Um. Opuna and Kapuna have recovered their internal power and awoken. It seems we were just in time. I am Shagla. I am Aizel's younger twin. Are you okay? Huh, you appear well. Your younger sister is waiting for you. Just, what do you think you were doing? I was really worried about you. How could you let them deceive you like that? You are both so slow sometimes. Well, never mind. I forgive you. 
Now we'd better go and thank Master Shagla. Please, do not. It is I who should apologize for the acts of my older brother. Apuna, this time you're going to protect us, right? The siblings are reunited. Well, they were reunited before, but now, for sure. Well done, Shagla. Why don't you rest a little? Now oh, he used up all his energy. Ugh. Master Shagla. Master Shagla, he's burning up. It'll be okay, Chaika. We must revive his force. We shall let him rest. I'm terribly sorry, but I need to ask you a favor. Would you mind waiting in the room just above? Apuna and Kupuna have recovered. The three siblings have rejoined. You should probably speak with Roidman just in case. Well, thanks for saying that, and then just doing that. I don't know what to say. You have really helped a lot. After you two had your energy drained, we sent people to investigate Sanctuary. It seems that Aizel and Babushka have gone too far into the dark. They can no longer remain so near to the holy energy. So at this stage, your mom and dad are safe. Right now, I'm helping Triola and the others investigate the dark burrow. Couldn't people move them away from the holy energy if they wanted to? Meaning that they could use them as hostages? So I won't be going with you, but I have something good to give you. This is my specially modified Echo Radar. If you have this Roid Radar, you can instantly see the layout of any dungeon you may be in. That's awesome! That's awesome. Opuna received the Roid Radar. Another item has been added to your OMP. By the way, would you like me to record your travels up until now? Sure. Um... Well, if I end it soon, I shouldn't be worried. Well, be careful, all right? I shouldn't be worried, right? Should be fine. Underground passage. Oh, hey, look, it's Goldie. Darn it, I didn't make it in time. I really didn't want to fight you guys, but I guess it can't be helped. Opuna, please understand, I can see no other way to save Master Aizel and Mistress Babushka. It appears you are in good health, and I'm sorry, but we must fight. I'm terribly sorry, Opuna, but I must win this battle. What? Oh, just double high all everyone. I'm a bomb. Take that. Well, that's still pretty good damage. Oh. Let's try this. <laughs> oh, that's pretty decent. Kapuna heal. Oh. Kapuna passes out. Goldie has destroyed us. You do not receive any experience. Forgive me, Apuna. I borrowed some of the dark power for this battle. However, I cannot let you go to Master Aizel at this time. I need more time. With more time, I will find some way to return Mistress Babushka to her natural self. Goldie, haven't you learned anything? It's already too late. You cannot remove the darkness from Aizel and Babushka. What about Goldie? Has Goldie is Goldie screwed? But Lady Criola, Mistress Babushka had such a gentle spirit. If we could return her to the ancient ruins, I'm sure. It's no use, Goldie. No one's voice will reach Babushka as she is now. But even more, take a look at this. These children. Do you not see in them our true hope? I am certain that the spirits of this land will lend their power to these children, okay? You feel as if something is speaking to you. Some voice is calling to your heart. Apuna, can you hear my, hear our voice? There, bathe in this light and be invigorated. And we shall also rid Goldie of that small darkness that has no true place in him. Apuna, your true journey has yet to begin. The mysterious voice disappears. What? What is this? It is the power of the spirits calling to the true hearts of these children. Well, now show Goldie where the true hope lies. 
Okay, let's defeat Goldie. Okay. Kopuna, you're a healing duty. Kopuna, I just hit. I guess I could hit. Oh, wow. We're doing good damage. Well, we were. Until he brought his cape up, giving him extreme defense. Okay, hi all. Just get ourselves topped up. We can't lose. It'll be really embarrassing if we lost this. Oh, we beat the head ranger. Spike seed core. Golem block. All these items to check. Wow. I had no idea you had grown this much. However, I cannot let you beat me. Lady Criola, you have proved your point about the young ones here. However, I too have a work that I must do. Goldie, what must be, must be. You are as stubborn as your father. Well, go ahead. Goodbye, Goldie. He wants to save Mistress Babushka, who is become the true evil of this world. And I'm sure you're tired as well. Go to the upper room and get some rest. I have preparations to make. I'm glad I chose to read the dialogue, even if people help it, or if people help it, if people hate it. Apuna, Kapuna, and Polina were reunited once again. Triola made a meal from freshly grown food. For a brief moment, Apuna and his siblings, along with Shagla and many others, enjoyed some peace. And then the next morning. Then, I'll be going, Apuna. Lady Criola. Thanks for teaching me many things. Now I can return to the intelligence sea. Uh, yes, and <laughs> adding words that are not in the sentence. It used to be a pet peeve of mine in like English class when people did that when they were reading out, out loud the novel. But now I, I just don't care. <laughs> yes, but you shouldn't overdo it, Chaika. I know. I'm just going back to Shine to see my parents. Polina, it was fun to go adventuring with you. I hope to see you again. Take care, Chaika. We'll do our best. Apuna, my parents were developing a special machine at Shine. The development code is Harmony, but between the developers, they call the machine the Energy Cocoon. I heard it's a machine to extract energy from Masha that was put into the Energy Cocoon. I remember some of the researchers saying it would work on human energy too. You may have heard that rumor too. Anyway, it seems true that Master Aizel and Mistress Babushka are trying to use the cocoon for something. Well, we ha they have ancient Masha, right? From Crescent, that we gave it to him? Maybe they're trying to do something devious with that. It has been completed for a while now, and was taken from Shine, so we may not have any leads. But, I will look into it and tell you what I can, so be well, Opuna. Let's all do our best, everyone. Well, I need to go now. Well, it's finally time for you to leave on your journey. First, it will be good to search out Shagla's old friends. When Aizel was named Grand Master and Shagla was blamed for his brother's evil, there were sages that followed Shagla. But Babushka found out about them, and their power as sages was stripped away. I heard they were exiled to the ends of the world. If they are safe, they will be guarding things Shagla left with them. Also, there were some who weren't sages. These became Shagla's partisans. partisans. Those people have been hiding all over the world and waiting for the light of hope. That hope is you, Opuna. Go visit Shagla's old friends and gain their aid in saving the planet. First, go to Animos. You should find some information there about Shagla's partisans. Ah, partisans! I'm, I'm gonna make that mistake a lot. And of course you, Opuna. You will need to get your own partisans for your journeys. Now go. I believe you are the star of hope for everyone. It's not just Opuna. There's Kupuna and Polina as well. And I think it's kind of sad that once Opuna's back in the picture, the siblings are kind of, you know, pushed aside. I wish everyone was treated fairly. Hey, look, there's Shagla. Opuna, I'm sorry to drag you into this planet's problems. 
Those sages that were with me are probably still alive. If they had died, the other sages would have learned of it through the Holy Force. I believe that at the time, Babushka and Aizo would not have done anything to make themselves look suspicious. They did not kill you, did they? I believe that means that the others are okay as well. Ugh. I'm sorry, I require some sleep. Don't worry about Shagla, leave him to us. I hope the sages that followed Shagla are still alive. Yeah, I'm really glad I, I read everything out now, because... I completely f forgot or skipped over the Roidman radar. That's nice. You are able to check the GPS map no matter where you are. A special echo radar. With this in your inventory. That is nice. Well, this was a really nice section. I think this is a really nice place to end it. After two long videos, it's really nice having a short video. I say short, but it's it's two hours long. It's two hours long and I consider it short. Oh man. But this is a JRPG and uh, I wanted to segment Opuna in a certain way that made sense to me. If I ever wanted to go back and re-edit it for, for a video. Might, that might happen, that might not happen. It's up in the air. But that'll be it for now. The siblings are reunited. We did Polina's little segment of the game. And the game just told us that our journey is just beginning. We are more than halfway in the game. I want to say 70, 75 percent. So if you if you've played this game before and you heard that, I'm sure you had like a mini mini heart attack thinking, whoa, did I just start the game? Was this was everything just a which was just a prologue? <laughs> Excuse me. I didn't mute myself that time. Um, was everything just a prologue? That would be insane. Absolutely insane if it was. I pressed the zero key instead of the delete key, which is my mute mic button. Ah, uh, it has to happen at least one stream. Once every stream, right? Didn't happen last time. But that'll be it. Next time, we're going to Animos. And we're going to learn more about what we need to do to combat the dark forces. But that really was a big energy dump hearing about Emperor Jagdeel. Ugh.